And and NVIDIA invested for years in CUDA, first for HPC, and then they got lucky with the AI trend. But do you think they're going to essentially not be able to hardcore pivot out of their... We'll see. That's always interesting. <laughs> How often do big companies hardcore pivot? Occasionally. How much do you know about NVIDIA, folks? Some. Some. Yeah. Well, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm curious as well, who's ultimately as a... Well, they've, they've innovated several times, but they've also worked really hard on mobile. They worked really hard on radios. You know, you know, they're fundamentally a GPU company. Well, they tried to pivot. There's an interesting little uh, game and play in autonomous vehicles, right? With, or a semi-autonomous, like playing with Tesla and so on and seeing that's a dipping a toe into that kind of pivot. They came out with this platform, which was interesting technically. Yeah. But it was like a three thousand watt, you know, and it was thousand watt three three thousand dollar, you know, GPU platform. I don't know if it's interesting technically, it's interesting philosophically. I, I technically I don't know if it's the execution, the craftsmanship is there. I'm not sure. But I, I didn't get a I sense. I think they were repurposing GPUs for an automotive solution. Right. It's not a real pivot. They didn't they didn't build a ground up solution. Right. Like the, the like the chips inside Tesla are pretty cheap. Like Mobileye has been doing this. They're they're doing the classic work from the simplest thing. Yeah. You know they were building forty mil square millimeter chips, and Nvidia their solution had two eight hundred millimeter chips and two two hundred millimeter chips, and you know like boatloads of really expensive DRAMs, and and you know it's a really different approach. So and Mobileye fit the let's say automotive cost and form factor. And then they added features as it was economically viable. And NVIDIA said, take the biggest thing and we're going to go make it work. You know, and and that's also influenced like Waymo. There's a whole bunch of autonomous startups where they have a 5,000 watt server in their trunk. Mm -hmm. Right. And, but that's, that's because they think, well, 5,000 watts and, you know, $10,000 is okay because it's replacing a driver. Elon's approach was that port has to be cheap enough to put it in every single Tesla, whether they turn on it, autonomous driving or not, which yeah. and Mobileye was like, we need to fit in the bomb and you know cost structure that car companies do. So they may sell you a GPS for fifteen hundred bucks, but the bomb for that's like twenty five dollars. Well, and uh, for Mobileye, it seems like neural networks were not first class citizens. Like the computation, they didn't start out as a yeah. It was a CV problem. You know, yeah. They, and they did classic CV and found stoplights and lines, and they were really good at it. Yeah, and they never, I mean, I don't know what's happening now, but they never fully pivoted. I mean, it's like, it's the NVIDIA thing. And then, as opposed to, yeah. so if you look at the new Tesla work, it's like neural networks from the ground up, yep. right? Yeah, and even Tesla started with a lot of CV stuff in it, and Andre's yeah. basically been eliminating it. <laughs> you know, move, move everything into the network. So uh, without... This isn't like confidential stuff, but you sitting on a porch, looking over the world, looking at the work that Andre is doing, that Elon's doing with Tesla Autopilot. Uh, do you like the trajectory of where things are going on the well, hardware Well, they're making serious progress. I like the videos of people driving the beta stuff. Like it's taken some pretty complicated intersections and all that, but it's it's still an intervention per drive. I mean, I, I have autopilot, the current autopilot, my, my Tesla, I use it every day. Do you have full self-driving beta or no? So you, you like where this is going? Where They're making progress. It's taken longer than anybody thought. You know, my my wonder was, is, you know, hardware three, is it enough computing off by two, off by five, off ah. by 10, off by 100? Yeah. And and I, I thought it probably wasn't enough, but they're doing pretty well with it now. Yeah. And one thing is the data set gets bigger, the training gets better. And then there's this interesting thing is you sort of train and build an arbitrary size network that solves the problem. And then you refactor the network down to the thing that you can afford the, the ship, mm -hmm. right? So the, the goal isn't to, to build a network that fits in the phone, it's to build something that actually works. And then, then how do you make that most effective on the hardware you have? And they seem to be doing that much better than a couple of years ago.